I love fashioning stuff that people consider is good to eat with my hands. Daryl Jones knows what people like, and people like donuts. <laughs> So in 1968, Daryl and his wife Catherine opened a small donut shop in Spokane and called it the Donut Parade. Customers soon were lining up for donuts that many have claimed are the world's best. For 38 years, this ruler of the rolling pin has been pleasing hungry patrons with his one-of-a-kind donuts. Yummy, huh? They're the best. Excellent. Fantastic. Perfect. They are very, very good. I haven't found any that's any better. It's Daryl Donuts. He's got the best donuts in the area, period, hands down. Nobody's close. I don't think you can find them any place any better than here. A native of North Carolina, Daryl discovered his passion for pastries at an early age. I started in 1942, working in the summer when I was going to school, 14 years old, and I went to work for the Rolling Pen Bakery in Durham and worked the summer. And I was fascinated with making pastries, donuts and Danish and cookies and stuff like that. And I got it, got it under, under my skin, and boy, it stayed there too, boy, I'm not kidding you. Catherine Jones, Daryl's wife of 50 years, completes this dynamic donut duo. She knows the secret ingredient to the donut parade's sweet success. I think the secret is Daryl is, he likes people. It's the relationship you have with your customers, by gosh, on a first name basis, and I know many. He can remember their names. In fact, his memory is too good. Any little rotten thing that I did when we were first married, he still tells me off of those. <laughs> so. I think it's the way we treat our customers, making a good product, kept our prices reasonable, and uh, furnished a lot of our own labor. And it's the, it's the jocular manner I have with the customers. I'll say, we'll have you out here in 45 minutes, and they get a startled look, and then they see I'm, I'm kidding, and then they laugh like hell then. At the donut parade, conversation isn't listed on the menu, but it's served up in generous quantities all the same. Our girls always pass the time of day with customers. You're never too busy that you can't, you know, spend a couple of minutes with them. It's just like working at home in your kitchen, and you just got a big, big kitchen with a lot of chairs in there for people to sit down, that's for sure. A lot of people are so shy, they can't connect with other people. But they'll come in, they'll sit down here, and if you get them to talking with each other, it's amazing, they have the best time. Working at a business where the majority of customers are retired gives waitresses here an added job bonus. All the good looking old men. <laughs> Monday through Friday, Daryl's here at 3 a.m. preparing an assortment of delicious donuts to have ready when the doors open at 5.30. But there's one that takes the cake as the fry daddy of donuts, the maple bar. They start coming in for them, and then it gets a little hog wild around here then. Between 8 and 10, it's kind of a madhouse. It's a different kind of maple bar. It doesn't taste like an old piece of law dough. It it's, it's different. It's just a little bit different. It's light. I got a good icing, too. I, got a, I don't put a heavy coat on it. I don't slather a lot of icing on it. I don't even like maple, or I didn't used to like maple, and I eat our maple bars. I don't like to say I'm an indispensable man, but I make the maple bars on you. <laughs> it's been said that when you find a job you like, you'll never work a day in your life. For Daryl and Catherine Jones, the donut parade has been a 38-year labor of love. Now, at the age of 78, Daryl is selling this donut dynasty. He will still continue to make donuts here, but will leave the early morning shift to the new owners, who are loyal, longtime customers. I like it so much up there. I'm 78 and I'm still doing it. And I'll, you know, I'm gonna probably do it when people we've sold to, I'm gonna work for them a while and make these maple bars too. Because it takes a while to train somebody to make a good maple bar. It's gonna be hard because even though it looks really, really good to me now, I know that when it's somebody else's baby, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be displaced. That's, so I have mixed emotions. Bittersweet. <laughs> the donut parade will march on to a slightly different beat, but its master donut maker will keep giving people what they like. So let's raise a cup of joe and perhaps a maple bar to dozens of delightful years to come at the donut parade. You know, the best part of the damn day is seeing rack after rack after rack of good donuts going out to the display case and having the people coming in and you can hear sacks rattling, the tills ringing. And you know, it always gives you a good feeling no matter how many times you hear it. 
You haven't lost your touch. They're just as good as they ever was. And you make the best donut in town. I've heard it a thousand times, and so, but it's always nice to hear it again. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.